Okay. So this is uh, this is my Honeycrisp apple tree, and I'm trying to get some information about some fruiting spurs and whatnot um, on the main trunk. So here is the central leader growing all the way up there and I've already cut the top off and I have my one still up there and then I have this one right here going up and this one right here going up now most if not all of these have already been topped off so that they'll go off into uh, different directions from away from the center of the tree okay um, but what I'm wanting to know is for example something like this right here is this a fruiting spur on the main uh, uh, branch that's going up and you can see all of these other little spikes let me turn to go to the side of them makes it maybe a little bit easier to excuse me to see some of these things so you have a lot of these little sharp little spikes like right here on this main branch vertical branch you can see this is coming out here Again, I don't know if these are leaf spurs or uh, fruiting spurs. Because as uh, Bill from Fremont, California and Hawaii, you lucky duck, <laughs> uh, is, talks about not letting fruiting spurs be on the main stem because of fire blight. So you can see I have all these little nubs and spurs that are growing. Now obviously this one is a leaf um, a branch, a leafing branch out here. Okay, because it's already grown long and I could tell a few of them. But some of these short ones, it's very hard to tell are these fruiting spurs or not. Here's uh, another main branch right here. And you can see, I'm trying to get a good contrast right here. You know, I got these all over. And I just don't know. Um, over here on my uh, Fuji apple tree, which I have uh, pruned back quite a bit. This one got a little out of control. Again, you can see the different little spurs, like right here, growing on the main branch here, the central leader. And uh, you know, I just don't know if these are fruiting spurs or you know, leaf branches and whatnot. Here's another uh, right here on one of the main vertical branches. So it's again, it's just for me, it's hard to tell just because I'm a new a newbie at this, and uh, you know, it, it's just not easy. So, anyways, I'm hoping that. Uh, my friend Bill will be able to give me some advice as to what I'm really seeing. And uh, you can see on the ends right here, on this leaf leaf one here, they're starting to get ready to break out of here. They started to, and then we got a, a cold spell that came through. So you can see where some of these buds are about ready to break. Um, and I've come in here, for example, on this branch came out here and I pruned off the growing tip to this outward facing bud to get more because it was growing more straight up and uh, started to grow straight up so I didn't want that so I um, left this bud so it'll go hopefully out this way and I did the same thing for a few others and uh, so that's what's going on with that and uh, you know maybe Bill can also tell me a couple things like you know, I'm guessing that this is a fruiting spur right here. And, you know, perhaps right here. It's hard to tell for me. And, you know, this might be, this might be a fruiting spur right here. But again, I'm not, I'm not sure. So we'll see. Again, these are about five-year-old plants, uh, trees. And uh, so some of these are much
much more easier to tell than others. So I appreciate your uh, help, Bill. Thank you.